I'd like to just demonstrate for you a method of creating lines on leather or book cloth. Um, typically and traditionally uh, to do this you'd use uh, something like a, a, a fillet wheel like this um, which are great and I use these a lot and they're, they're fabulous the traditional way of doing things the problem with them is that they are very expensive um, so there are alternatives to it you could just use a, you could use a pallet which is one of these uh, which is essentially a, a obviously limited distance so it's great for going across a spine for example but not so good if you want to do a, a long line on a, a board cover um, you can also get these sort of micro wheels as well uh, which are just just the same as the fillet really but just much smaller uh, and are particularly useful if you want to go around curves um, I, I've got a couple of these, but I, I don't tend to use them very often. I find them quite difficult. They sort of slip and, and it's, it's, I find it quite difficult to use. So the method I tend to use is actually the easiest method, and that's using a homemade stylus. Now, this is um, the stylus that I tend to use. Uh, it's actually just made out of an old uh, handle letter, I believe. I actually inherited this particular one uh, from Trevor Jones, who's a, a well-known binder and um, it, it, it's a fabulous little tool but it's so simple uh, and you can make these yourself by uh, you could use um, any old handle letter that perhaps is, is left over or from a part set or something and you can sort of grind down uh, the brass uh, end to it to create the shape that you need um, and the shape that I have it's a, it's a flat shape I don't know if you can see that it's a flat shape uh, with a curve on it no sharp edges no sharp corners um, but it's uh, it's just perfect what we need and basically we use this as a stylus so you effectively drawing the line on and I'd like to show you how I do that um, firstly for using a straight line um, I'm going to use foil for this you can't really use this method for um, uh, gold leaf as far as I can figure out um, so I'm just using a foil um, let's just trim that down a little bit use that in a minute and I'm going to use a guide now you could use a ruler or a piece of wood or all sorts of things for this but I tend to use cardboard um, it's less likely to damage or scratch the leather less likely to damage the stylus so essentially I place that on the leather this I should say is actually faux leather it's a sample from winters uh, but it's just to, to demonstrate this could be could be cloth it, it works just as well um, the um, guide that I use I have a, a hinge in just with a piece of sellotape and that's simply so that I can line it up exactly where I want it on my leather or on my book case and then without moving it I can lift that up Put the foil under close it down and i know it's in exactly the right position i've heated my brass tool my stylus so i'm just going to cool it uh, and i don't want it too hot just so the scissor stops and then against the side of the uh, template applying moderate pressure And let's see what that's done okay well that's not very good well that's the problem with live demonstration so let me let me do it again but this time I'll press a little harder all tooling is, is a um, a balance between pressure dwell time and temperature and that is determined to some extent by in this case by the foil the adhesive on the foil by the substrate the leather or the cloth that you're, you're doing so let's see if just increasing the pressure and increasing the dwell time slightly has made a difference it has much better line so you get an extra demonstration for the for the prize of one there so uh, I'm going to do the same but this time I'm going to use a, uh, a curved template same principle I've got a hinge in there so I'm going to um, position that wherever I want it specifically on a, a design or whatever um, 
hold that in position you could put a weight on it if you wanted you just then lift that up put your foil in there check the temperature yeah that's about right and off we go again so because you haven't got a big wheel as you do with a fillet you can actually get quite you know pretty complex in the shapes that you work with using this method like so now knowing that there's uh, the possibility of this hasn't taken fully uh, as we saw a moment ago what I can do using this method is keep this in position lift that up let's have a look at it actually that's fine but let's let's assume it isn't let's assume that it's it's uh, still needs more work on it I can then reposition it this hasn't moved so I can just go over it again so it's a nice technique to play about with there's no real pressure in terms of stress getting stressed out if it doesn't work because you can just go over it again so it's a simple cheap tool and it can give you some fabulous effects like so so there we go a homemade um stylus just made out of a heated brass tool um, and uh, that's all you need really uh, I should say that the uh, heater that I use is simply a uh, an electric hob and it, it costs about 10 pounds something like that it's uh, not very expensive you can buy I don't know a hell of a lot of those 15 20 of those before you'd even get to the price of a second-hand professional bookbinders heater so um, I think they're absolutely fabulous but anyway, that's how to tool using a stylus and hopefully, hopefully that was of some help.